Hello, hello. Uh, this is, again, Ben, and again, working on a little wilderness, a, a demo of, of some new features. Um, something I, I want to kind of say, though, before I get started, is an apology, sorry, for not having worked much on a little wilderness in the past, like, weekish. And the reason for that, which maybe isn't a super great reason, is that about a week ago, Steam had all of the Skyrim expansions, and Skyrim itself, I believe, uh, on sale for 20 bucks, and I had to get that. I, I had Skyrim, I played it months and months ago, months and months and months ago, uh, but, but I didn't have the expansion. So I got those, and that's been kind of distracting me. I can't promise it won't distract me more in, you know, the weeks to come, but uh, I, I got back on track a little bit on a little wilderness uh, in the last day or two. So again, not as much progress as maybe I would like, Ap apologies again, but I've made some work, so so let's get into that. Uh, so I happen to know that Chemica, or however you would say that, is a good, right now I think this, this is random, uh, but anyway, a good uh, demonstration, God, if I can find it. There you go. So I, I just want to reiterate too, I haven't worked on this screen at all uh, in a long time, but eventually you're going to be able to click on names and just you know type in whatever you want. Uh, and, and, you know, not have to scroll through like this, but actually have drop-down menus. It, this will look pretty eventually, but, but for now this is suiting. This isn't the important stuff, you know. Uh, so anyway, Chemek... Ch Ch how do you say it? Ch Chemekata? I don't even know. God, Oregon, it's crazy town names. I lived in Oregon for a little while. Anyway, Chemeka, etc. is great because it has clouds when it's randomly... Um, the, the names serve as seeds for the random gen generator. Um, so, so anyway, uh, Chema, etc. has good cloud cover, which is what I want to demonstrate, and which I also want to demonstrate, and has just happened, lucky me, is rain. Uh, and to be honest, it's not 100% lucky. I put in the code that it should rain much more frequently than, uh, than normal. But, uh, but this was pretty fast, so, or I don't know, maybe I just made the odds crazy. Anyway, it's raining, perfect. So, weather. I've been working on weather a lot. Uh, the temperatures were totally wiggity whack, I believe. Last time I demonstrated, uh, made a demo video, and also last time there was a little temperature bar here, and if you went down on the bottom here, you saw exact temperature numbers. I've taken those out just for demo purposes. I wanted to show in the video more of how it will actually look when you play, uh, but I'm going to need those graphs and exact numbers again for me later just for, you know, debugging. Um, yeah, and I'm starting to realize that I'm going to need to make something to just model weather really fast, like having to wait for the game to play and make sure that weather does sensible things is not efficient. I'm going to need to make a program that just, you know, plays out 10 years using whatever math I have and showing me all these graphs and things and I can confirm that things are great and that'll be much better, uh, but, but I'm not there yet. Anyway, things are better though. Uh, the temperatures were, were getting really high during midday and it's now much more reasonable and at least in September things look pretty good, but I haven't tested other months, so, or sorry, August, it's August right now. Uh, so I've tested August and, and things are good, but, but other months, yeah, I don't know, it could be awful. Uh, so something else that I want to demonstrate, let me scroll around, uh, is, uh, and, and get them to do things, is the history log, which I think I was, like I had said I was going to, to show it off, or had intended and completely failed to do so. Uh, so I will just get them doing a couple things. Let's, and let's build a, a blueberry trellis. There we go. So, once they've done a few things, and let's let them do a couple things. Oh, they're going to take a while. Here we go. Yeah, get those blueberries. Uh, uh, you, you, you can do it. Ah, oh, he's not going to build the trellis. Anyway, we probably have some log entries. So, these two buttons are new. It used to be that the only way you could pause is, pause, sorry, is to press space, and that's suboptimal because, again, I want this on touch, and that's something I really need to do at some point is make sure I can compile this, at least for Windows Phone. I happen to have a Windows Phone, and I also can't recommend Windows Phones. They're kind of not good, but uh, it's what I have, so I'm going to try and, and see if I can get this on Windows Phone at least. Um, and, and anyway, so it's going to be touchable, right? The interface has to work for touches. I've probably mentioned like a bajillion times. Uh, hey, you stopped. There's not enough wood. Anyway, so there's now buttons to pause, uh, and there's also a button for the colony logbook. I'll probably come up with a different name later. So it shows recent things that the colonists have done, and I think last time we, we did see some of these, uh, sorry, I tapped my screen, you can't see me tap the screen, some of these messages are, are deemed important enough that they would kind of flash up on the top. It would say, 
so-and-so has caught influenza and then it would fade out a, a flash me message sort of thing like you see on web pages uh, but, but most things do not but those things do still go in the colony logbook and there are more things I would like to log and also uh, flash at people like like right now when this guy has aborted um, working on this house because there was no more he couldn't find any more materials that's an important thing we probably want to know about right and and this is all I think most people who know about this game come from Dwarf Fortress because I've been posting on the Dwarf Fortress forums and this is a very familiar thing for Dwarf Fortress right it's, it's got this exact sort of thing in there uh, another thing that I've done that you couldn't do before it used to be that when you paused it dimmed out the whole screen and showed the logbook so pausing in the logbook were sort of the same thing uh, but that was bad because I want you to be able to click around when, it, when you're paused and give orders and you could do that at the time but it, it was just difficult when you had text all over so that was ugly and and just as kind of a touch if you open the logbook while it's paused and unlog book it remembers that you were paused before you 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 know did the logbook and and then if you logbook when it wasn't paused ah see how clever uh and also you can resume you know if you ever resume it takes out logbook so anyway that's all good i mean it was simple but I, it was a nice touch so i was happy about it i had to show it off uh, it looks like the clouds have gone away, but it hasn't stopped raining, so we obviously have some problems there. Um, oh, no, maybe it's stopping. Oh, we don't have problems. I'm even better than I thought. So, yeah, th things are going well, slowly, because of Skyrim, uh, but well. So, no, look, it's raining again. This is madness. There's no... I can't decide. I don't even know. Anyway, <laughs> clearly there's work to be done on the weather. Uh, so, unfortunately, that's all I, I really have to show. Um... Yeah, as we can see now, it's raining again. The weather's going crazy, uh, but I've made pro Oh, well, there's clouds, so, so I guess it's okay. Um, so, more exciting weather. And the next step where I'm going next with this is the weather making them unhappy or, or happy. If it's, it's, if it's a beautiful day out, they should be like, this is great. And if it's raining and cold and awful, then that sucks and they would be unhappy. And then once that's in, having them actually take shelter. And that should be under trees when it rains, if, if that's you know, all they've got to do, or in houses, if their houses are available, uh, so, and, and then sleeping in houses, and I think once all that's done, I'm going to release this for people to play, not complete, probably not on many platforms, I, I don't think I will have, you know, gotten to any sort of mobile platform, not even Windows, by that time, that's not my pro priority, uh, my priority is to get it out there, so people can try it out and give me feedback and play it themselves, even if there's not necessarily a lot to do. Uh, but I think once people are getting unhappy, maybe catching the flu, needing to eat, sleeping indoors, that's, you know, the beginnings of a real game. So, I you know, before I was saying that it would be a month, but then Skyrim happened. So I, I, I can't say. Oh, nice, he's eating. Anyway, I will end the video there. Thank you for watching. Apologies again for, the, uh, for Skyrim. <laughs> and I will uh, hopefully have another update for you guys soon.